Hey guys, it's City Tutorials here, and today we have our first episode of Let's Play Minecraft. And if you guys don't know what Minecraft is, it's basically a, not really a first person shooter, but it's a first person uh, Minecraft-ish kind of thing. Um, but if you want something more elaborate, I will tell you now. It's a game where you collect resources and try to stay alive during the night and actually make your own home, and you can really get creative with a lot of things in the game. So, um, as we go along, you'll figure out more things that you can do inside of Minecraft, and some of the, uh, cooler things that you can do inside of Minecraft. So, um, I just created the, uh, my newest world here, and it generated the terrain, and here we are, uh, in this new world. Um, unfortunately, this isn't a live commentary, but the next episodes will be, so just, uh, bear with me this episode. I've been trying to figure out some things using my screen recorder so uh, everything should be worked out pretty well after uh, this episode so here I'm collecting some wood because wood is basically your main resource in this game um, excluding your mining uh, resources which you use to uh, build swords and uh, and pickaxes and those such things but for the main part wood is pretty much what you want to stick with um, so I got some wood here and I'm just picking at some sand uh, because I know I will need some sand later so I just wanted to get a little bit of the sand and uh, make sure I have some of that with me um, so I, for the most part in this episode I'm just pretty much uh, taking some wood and trying to find a good shelter for me to stay in but um, I will spoil the end uh, unfortunately there are many things in Minecraft that will try to kill you and if you don't outsmart them they will kill you and in this particular instance I did not outsmart the monster unfortunately I don't know which one it is but when he comes across I'll show you and this really made me mad because unfortunately I was killed so that's very bad and it did cause me to lose all my things which I was definitely not happy of and the worst part is that when I came back to check all my items to get them all back they had fallen down the mine that I have I, that I've been killed by so if I had tried to fall down there it would have taken uh, either a long time or it would have just killed me on the way down so here I'm just making some processed wood and making some uh, oh, I was about to make some sticks but I just made a toolbox um, a toolbox will allow you to actually uh, make your tools such as the pickaxes and other things, but you guys will find out more in the game later. So now I'm making my sticks. Uh, sticks are mainly used for torches and pickaxes and different weapons of that sort, um, which uh, sticks are very important in the game as well. Um, and you guys can see there are farm animals. You can kill farm animals, and each farm animal has their certain specification of what they drop. Sometimes they won't drop uh, anything on the first time, but sometimes they will. So here I just kind of uh, plant my toolbox uh, nonchalantly because I don't have a home established yet, and I really need to make a pickaxe. So that's how you make a pickaxe three uh, wood uh, wooden uh, wood woods I guess three woods over and then two down and basically uh, in Minecraft you kind of draw out what you want to make so that's a really cool feature in this game because there's only certain ways that you can make something uh, using those resources so um, here um, I'm making a shovel but I kind of fail a little bit um, I ac well actually I did make a sword here but then uh, I, I didn't want to, want to make a shovel so here's my shovel that I'm about to make because shovel will uh, scrape through gravel I mean not yeah gravel and flint and the uh, g grass or dirt however you want to call it a lot faster than using a pickaxe so here's my pickaxe and all of a sudden I find this huge mine that I'm so excited now because I know I can check for that later and uh, explore and try to find some more resources but at the end that ends up killing me so you guys will see how that ends up turning out which you know was not too pleasant but you have to live with those types of things so um, here, I don't know why I was using my sword. I pretty much nearly drained it uh, after using that. So I am using my uh, shovel now just to scrape through all of this uh, dirt here because I do plan on putting glass and a bunch of other things and trying to actually expand the house itself. So uh, this is just a first, uh, first home, I guess you could have said, but... Um, unfortunately, it won't be my first home for very long, um, because I was respawned, and like I said, you have to start all over with everything you have. Um, but 
in the future episodes, everything will be uh, hopefully turning out as well. It's kind of embarrassing to uh, start a Let's Play and pretty much get killed on the first episode. So uh, I do apologize for that, but what can you do when those things are around? You pretty much have no chance, and I was not playing on Peaceful, so my health did not regenerate. So there's really not much you can do, and this is really pretty much where he came from, um, from all the way at the end, and if you don't put torches in those areas, uh, monsters will spawn and they will attempt to kill you. So well, that'll be in a couple minutes later. Um, so here I go back to my toolbox to actually retrieve it. And you, you can just destroy the toolbox and pick it back up and put it wherever you'd like to put it back. Um, I did intend on putting it back in that cave and uh, making some torches because I had spotted uh, I had spotted some coal, but uh, that didn't really turn out too well, like I said. So um, I'm thinking if I keep uh, digging down here, it'll eventually end back up into the... Uh, cave system itself, so I decided to leave that alone for now because I didn't want to make another extra entrance in there. Um, so here I'm just whacking some uh, some dirt here, um, just to use for some later references in case I did need it. Um, so I'm just coming back in here, just doing a couple of uh, home improvement, nothing really special, uh, taking away some dirt, uh, as you guys can see. But now I put a couple blocks down, uh, just in case, uh, because I did think the nightfall was about to come down as uh, shortly. So I just kind of put those down there for for protection. Um, which kind of ended up saving me ish, but not really, but it didn't really save me to the fullest. Um, and now uh, I'm just kind of picking at some uh, dirt here, you guys can see. Um, so that's uh, pretty much that. Um, so here's the coal I find, uh, and I do end up actually taking that, and I'm just kind of looking around my surroundings because I know that those monsters can spawn at any time, and. Um, I just wanted to be a little careful uh, with what I was doing. So that's the other cave system I found, and I really got excited that I can actually uh, look through that as well. So here I'm just chopping at this coal. Coal can uh, make you a various amount of things. You can make torches with coal. You can put the coal in furnaces. Uh, you can... Uh, make glass using coal. Well, not really using coal, but putting it in the furnace. And you can also uh, burn your pork as well with the... Uh with the coal because you need something to burn it with so you can actually create the food so here I'm just looking at this huge deep dive here um, and I'm sure if I had jumped that I probably would have gotten killed so I'm just kinda jumping to put the blocks here and then I actually spot some more coal so uh, I would wanted to go check that out um, pretty much coal I guess is probably your main mining resource uh, because it's so insufficient and you really need as much as you can find uh, but in deeper cave systems you'll find a lot more than in some other areas but uh, that's just a couple of uh, a uh, couple of mining coals I found there so and then all of a sudden whoa look at that guy so I was really scared at this point and I was just literally I don't know, I'm just crapping my pants right now because I had really no idea what to do at this point. Uh, that's really pretty much where I established my home, and that's where I wanted to stay. So the sheep's all happy while I'm trying to uh, kill this crawler, and then I get really mad, and I just kind of kill the sheep real quick because he really made me mad. And then I noticed that my sword was gone, so I kind of played it not really too smart. And I used my pickaxe, and then all of a sudden there's another one right there, and that really made me mad. So um, I'm just kind of waiting for them to explode on me, I guess, because I have that little rock there, the dirt there, and I'm hoping that it won't uh, completely kill me. So one of them explodes, and then the other one starts chasing me, and I get really scared, and I jump, and I'm leaving, and he's coming, and I'm jumping, and I'm dead. Oh, that really sucks. So, I respawn there, guys, and that's pretty much the end of this episode. Um, I'll post up the next up upcoming episode soon with my new area. Um, so, that's pretty much it for this episode, guys. If you want to re-watch re that, uh, you're more than happy to rewatch that because that was very funny. But um, I will have the next upcoming episode soon. So, thanks, guys, for watching. And if you could uh, please give me a like down below, I'd really appreciate that. Or if you uh, want to post a comment down below, let me know of some ideas for homemaking or anything of that such on Minecraft. That'd be really appreciated as well. So, thanks, guys, for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.